Tishima, can I call you Suki? Don't you already call me that? Right, can I call you K then? Sure, whatever. Although it's best if you call me that when we're alone. The others will pry. Okay, K. Hinata and Sukishima head towards the cafe and order Sukishima's suggested strawberry shortcake. How are you? I'm fine, actually. I mean, he is my childhood best friend turned lover turned ex. How about you? Oh, I'm not fine as it is. Wanna hold hands? It helps me a lot to calm down when I'm holding something warm. Hinata takes Tsukishima's hand below the table. It is calming. Yeah, it really is. Knowing somebody is there for you changes a lot of things. You mentioned this like you've done this before. Yeah, with Yama. Should I be doing this? Tsukishima rubs circles on Hinata's hands with his thumb while he leans back and closes his eyes. Yeah, you should. It's calming. Can I do something else for you? Nope, a hand to hold is only what I need. Hinata felt his heart squeeze at Kay's word. He knew that Kay was hurting as much, but just was acting strong. He leaned and rested his head on his arm on the table. They were at peace with each other, and even if they were hurting, at least they had each other. The server came with their orders and apologized for the delay. She quickly went away to serve more orders. Kay was napping peacefully beside Hinata, and it was the first time that he saw Kay being defenseless. Hinata softly shook his shoulder to waking up. Tsukishima slowly opened his eyes and looked at Hinata in question. The cake came. I'll have the strawberry, please. But isn't that sour? It is pure strawberry, so it's sour, but it's sweet, swear. Can I have some? Tsukishima gave half of the strawberry to Hinata. Geh! This is super sour! Wait, it's also sweet? Told ya. You seem happy? Well, we are eating. You fine now? Far from fine. More like on the verge of tears. Shoya's tears welled up as he ate the cake. Sukishima rubbed circles on his hands once more and hugged Shoya's head with one arm. Shh. It's fine. We'll be fine. Mama, look, that Nichan is crying. Ignoring the child's comments, Sukishima hummed a tune to Shoya and that seemed to calm him down. He felt his shoulder getting wet with tears. Tell you what, what, I'll always be here for you, to be with you, and to get you through this. Instead of cheering him up, that seemed to open the dam of tears and Shoya cried in silence. All the while, Tsukishima was patting his head and rubbing circles on his hand. Shoya soon calmed down and finished the cake. They walked out of the shop hand in hand. The good thing was that the cafe was two stations away from school, so nobody who knew them could see this happening. Okay. Yes, Hinata? You could call me Shoya if you want to, and I'm tired. Should we head home? Yeah, I think we should. It's already 8. The next train is in 10 minutes. What do you want to do? Can we sit down? I want to rest a bit. Okay, we're near the station anyway. They find an empty bench to sit on. Shoya, I'm gonna go buy tickets for us. Wait for me here, okay? Mm-hmm. Hinata watched as Tsukishima disappeared with the crowd, leaving him all alone on the bench. Tsukishima was right. It's better when someone's there for you when you fall. Good thing Kei understands. Tsukishima runs over to where Hinata is. I looked at the wrong train. Let's go. That train leaves in two minutes. Hop on quick. Tsukishima kneeled down with his back to Hinata, clearly signaling him that he was going to give him a piggyback ride. Hinata climbed up and Tsukishima wasted no time to get on train. The train ride home was silent but it was calming. They had one train car to themselves so it was quiet. Each other's hands were intertwined with the other and they were holding on to each other as if both would suddenly disappear. The train stopped and Hinata was carried by Sukishima on his back. He woke him up when he reached Shrimpy's house. Shrimpy, hey. He slowly shook the sleeping boy. Hmm? We're at your house now. With this, Hinata woke up groggily, climbed down Sukishima's back and rocked towards the door. Sukishima was turning around when he stopped at what Hinata said. Mom, a friend is here. Can he stay the night? Yes, dear. Hinata's mom comes into view. Where have you been? He took me out for cake. I see. Well, it's already 8.30 and it's getting dark. Sweetie, come on in. Oh, thanks. I'm Sakishima K, ma'am. No problem. You took care of sunshine over here, so it's fine. Also, don't be so formal with me. Tell your parents you're staying over, though. They might worry. It's fine. I already did. Tsukishima gets in the house and takes off his shoes. Sorry for the intrusion. 
Come on, Kay, I'll take you to my room. Sakishima follows Hinata into his room. Hinata pulls out two furans. Why two? I don't want to sleep on the bed when someone's over. Hinata suddenly goes out and calls for his mom. Mom, my clothes won't fit Kay. Do you have any large clothes? Sunshine, check your father's clothes. I care as big as Kay, I think. Thanks, Mom. Kay, you can shower first. I'm gonna go get clothes. You can change into here. Hinta hands Sakishima hangers for his uniform. Thanks, Shoyo. No problem. Be right back. Sakishima showers and changes into the clothes that fit him quite okay. Hinata slipped in the shower and was done after a few minutes. They were ready to go to bed. They snuggled into each of their own furons and tried to fall asleep. Hey, Kay, you awake? Yeah? They both were facing the ceiling. What did we do to deserve this? Honestly? I don't know. Listen to my side? Yeah. Ninta found his hand being squeezed by Kay's. Kay was facing him, so he did too. I, I trusted him with everything. Yes, I wasn't over it. Yeah, he wasn't that into me. But I was into him so much it hurts. And more so when the guy he cheated on with is King. He knows how much I hate King. And he does this. He has to slowly rub the hand of Kay like Kay did when he cried. Kay went back to looking at the ceiling to stop the tears that are nearly falling. I'm here for you. To be with you. To get you through this. Hinata repeated the words Kate said to him at the cafe. Kay didn't know that his words were so relieving that it made him cry. Still, he spoke through the tears. Ah, so this is how you felt. Kay had faced Hinata once more. By this time, Hinata had moved over to Kay's side of the feud and hung his head while rubbing circles on his back. I'm here. It's fine. We'll be fine. I knew. I knew he was cheating. But I didn't know it was with Kay. If I did, I would have told you. And you wouldn't have to see that. Shh. This isn't about me. It's about you. He broke my trust, Hinata. He knows I have trust issues since my brother. He knew and he did this. Do you know why it hurts so much? Kay laughed mockingly. The day you saw them, I was waiting. I was waiting for him at his house because it was our anniversary. It was our anniversary. Hinata knew that nothing he could say would ease the pain. He was hurt in the most painful way by the person he trusted the most on the day that they should have celebrated their anniversary. All Hinata could do was assure Kay that he was listening by rubbing circles on his back. I love him. Hinata wiped away Kay's tears and cupped his cheeks. He lightly pecked his forehead. He deserved more. Kay sobbed his heart out the whole night and Hinata was there by his side never leaving. So that was it guys, episode 2 to be continued and I'm sorry I have a problem with speaking words and so I'm making a YouTube voiceover so that I can get over this problem and I'm sorry if you have to hear my voice to, you know, watch the story and I'm sorry if that annoys you but I will do episode 3 by next week because I am now just passing all my requirements for the semester and I will focus on completing the story and uploading it on YouTube at the same time while making this other story that I just came up with. So stay tuned for episode 3. Bye!